Academy of Entrepreneurs. If, for the people who doesn't know us, we are an incubator for a startup, but also a college for a diploma of business and advanced diplomas of business. Now, Paula, today she's going to talk about how to start a business during the pandemic. And yes, welcome, Paula. And thanks, Chiara. We are very thanks. excited to listen to this matter. Thanks. Yeah, and thank you, Cheryl and Apple over at AUD in the Philippines for coordinating and inviting everybody to this beautiful event together. I was just telling Kiara how I wish I was in the Philippines. I miss living there and I miss seeing you guys and hanging out and creating impact there. And I will be back very soon. I'll probably move back to the Philippines in the next few months if the Australian government allows us. So hopefully in a few months, we'll be able to do this face to face. But for now, we can create impact and become entrepreneurs online because that's where the market is. So today I've built a super special presentation for all of the AUG community over in the Philippines and around the world. I can see some familiar faces logging in from Melbourne and Sydney as well. And what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is the top 10 easiest steps for you to start a business. Then I'm gonna be giving you guys some examples on business opportunities that you can do during a pandemic, during this online explosion of opportunities. And then I'm gonna be looking at a case study, which is super doable that is applicable to any industry in any country. So yes, let's get started. Let me just disconnect my email here. Cool, so we are on Zoom and on Facebook. So turn on your cameras, ask as many questions as you want, but also remember that if you don't want anyone to hear your idea, it is getting live streams. I personally believe that the more we share our ideas, the faster we're gonna be able to grow. So ask as many questions as possible, but if there is anything confidential you wanna ask me, then wait until after the presentation or write it in the chat or else everybody's going to be able to see it because we are live streamed through Facebook and Zoom and this will be most likely uploaded to YouTube. So for those of you that are logging in from YouTube, hello, hello. So guys, from the heart, please, please, please boss your future. You have the power to change the world. You can achieve any goal that you want, but you need to take action. And this is what makes the difference between leaders and everybody else. Leaders, we understand that there is a risk, but we take action. And this is what you're going to have to be able to do. So for you to find your happiness, your health, your success, to build businesses, to build your dream company, the dream team, you're going to have to take steps and actions every day. So this is why you've got it right next to me. You boss your future. You've got boss your future in the screen. You see it across all social media. For you to reach your goals, you're going to have to take action. So what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is absolutely priceless. It can change your life forever, but you need to implement it. So please, please, please boss your future. So question to you guys, right down here in the chat. Number one, if you have a business idea, pop in the chat box. Two, if you have started a business. And three, if you want to start a business. And it doesn't matter where you are in the journey. I mentor thousands of students every single month and there's no such thing as like you're better if you have a business or haven't. So many people started a business and they've never studied entrepreneurship. So many people have 100 ideas but have never put any of them into action. So pop it in the chat so we know how do we build and direct the conversation towards the best way to help you guys. Cool, little interesting facts. Did you know that it's estimated that 50% of the workforce will be business owners and freelancers? It's crazy, guys. Here in Australia, over 50% of Australians that are working have an ABN, an Australian business number registered, which means that they're freelancing on the side. And around the world, this is super normal. I was just having a meeting this morning in Colombia. 50% of the workforce is working in a small business and they're not even registering. So the government is not even able to give us the data. So I think this number is actually higher than the stats are saying. So if you haven't started your business, please do. And if you have a job that you love, great. Still do something on the side. Don't put all eggs into one basket. And don't apply for job created. Let's look at some other very interesting stats. E-commerce, so buying things online, has grown by 18% in the last 12 months. That's an extra $4 trillion. If you look at e-commerce, 50% of consumers are shopping more on mobile than on any other platform. And I saw something really interesting the other day. 43% of shopping is getting done through voice recognition in the United States by speaking to Siri, Alexa, and all of the other devices. 43% of shopping is not even that's happening online. It's done through voice. 
that you go, Siri or Alexa, find me this book on Amazon. And people are buying through voice. And this is not future trend. This is stuff that is happening right now. Are you ready for these shifts? And 72% of online purchases are getting influenced by Instagram. And Instagram, well, it's, it's free. You can hire someone to do it, but you can do it yourself. You can connect, you can build your community, your tribe with anybody. Guys, these numbers, again, it's not in the future, it's right now. So boss your future so we can get the results and you can reach everybody in the world. And why are we here today? We wanna to take you out of I wanna be to I am an entrepreneur. So what I'm teaching you guys today is super easy, super doable. It doesn't cost a cent and you can start today. The first is very important for you to have a positive mindset. For example, right now in the world, we have 7.6 million, sorry, billion people in the world. You can look at the 7.6 billion people in the world as competitors that they're trying to sell the same thing as you, or you can look at the 7.6 billion people as future clients. Every time I see these numbers, I'm like, oh my God, I just wish I could empower 7.6 billion students into entrepreneurs, through Academy of Entrepreneurs. So I have a growth mindset. So every time there's a challenge, I don't see the challenge. I get excited and I want to overcome it. So you need to have this mindset of every time you see a big number is I want to get that. I want to help those people through my product and service. So if you're a yoga instructor, if you give financial advice, if you design handbags, if you just do, I don't know, design sunglasses, if you are, I don't know, want to teach people how to play the guitar, it doesn't matter. Look at the whole world as your possibility and then target a small audience and then we grow little by little. And guys, I was just, I was just speaking to Gata about an hour ago. I was speaking to several investors that are interested in putting billions of dollars. So I no longer have conversations on the millions. I have conversations on the billions on a daily basis. There's more money and opportunity than ever before. Money does not evaporate. So while everybody's going crisis, some people are losing. A lot of people are winning. The money's not evaporating. Whoever's selling face masks, hand sanitizers, investment properties in Australia is making trillions of dollars. Like the Australian real estate market has made trillions of dollars this year. So you need to have a positive mindset and just go, how do I capture a little bit of this through my product and service that I love offering to people? So I'm going to talk to you guys about the top 10 tips for you to start a business. And yes, you can make as much money as you want. If you're living in Australia on a student visa, if you're living in the Philippines, because I know that half of us are connecting over from the Philippines, wherever it is in the world, you can make as much money as you want online under any age, under any businesses. So let's get started. Step number one, always connect what you love to what you're good at and solve a problem. So this is a simple format that a few of you guys have seen me talking about on Instagram, on Facebook, on many other webinars. So you need to see what is the biggest problem in the world that you feel it's your responsibility to fix, that you're very good at and you can get paid for. So let's talk about music. A lot of people in the Philippines are very talented with singing, with instruments or graphic design. The world is absolutely bored. Most people are at home. So what do you love? Music. So you can teach them how to play the piano because you're really good at playing piano and you can sell your piano lessons. You can do the same with guitar. You can do the same with graphic design. You can do the same with absolutely anything. So turn problems. The fact that people are bored, turn that into a solution. The fact that people are hungry, sell them food. The fact that, I don't know, a lot of people have the boyfriend or girlfriend locked in another city. Start a gifting business. Whatever it is that you see as a problem, it's not a problem, it is a business opportunity. But transform this problem into a business opportunity that uses, let's go back, something that you love and your strength. So you need to make sure that this problem that you're solving, you have a lot of the skills to solve it. Because right now, I could give Erica over in Melbourne $20 million, but it doesn't mean the idea is going to succeed. But if she tells me what she loves and a problem she's solving, that $20 million, I can turn into $40 million in probably a month. But if we're not solving a problem and we're not using our strength, we're not going to be able to get results. For example, 
drones. It's a huge market, but I don't know how to build a drone. I don't know how to fly a drone. So if someone gives me money to build a drone business, am I going to succeed? No, because I'm not passionate about it and I don't have the skills for it. Now, if I give the money to my brother, my God, we will win in life because he knows everything. He built one of the first drone businesses of Australia. So can you see, we need to go, what is the problem that we're solving? Is it watering plants with drones, stopping fires with drones like my brother has done? Is it teaching a music because people are bored during lockdown? Is it teaching them, we've got a student at the moment at a camp spinners that teaches everybody how to manage the finance. And he makes $100,000 a month by teaching people how to manage the finance. He's good at finance, he's good at teaching, he's solving a problem. Most people are really bad at money. So what is it that the world needs that you can solve, ideally in your local community, maybe in your street, maybe in your building. But you need to absolutely love it. I always say that I have the best job in the world because I love what I do. And I'm saving a lot of problems in the world. I'm solving them and I'm saving lives by teaching people how to become an entrepreneur. So what, what is your, it's called Ikigai, what is your life purpose? What does the world need that you're great at? that you love and you can get paid for it. So it's not just going, I love eating popcorn, I love Netflix. No, 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 no. What is it that you can get paid for? Next is understanding that companies don't make money. Companies exist to solve problems. Grab an Uber gets you from A to B on an app safely paid through a credit card. Airbnb helps us rent houses. A bank stores our money. A laptop helps us communicate. What is the problem that you are solving? So from today onwards, you see yourself as serving society and saving people through saving money, saving, boosting security, reducing domestic violence, whatever it is that you care about what is the problem you're solving you might be a great graphic designer the problem you're solving is you're designing beautiful logos everyone that has a business needs a good logo if you're good at photography we need photography for businesses when mothers get pregnant on your wedding day on birthdays what is the problem you are solving and believe in yourself a logo would change someone's life if i don't have a pretty logo at academy of entrepreneurs Maybe you wouldn't even sign up for the event. You'd be like, oh, I don't like the logo. If I don't have beautiful photography in our website, you're not going to trust us if I was using just some images off the internet. What is the problem you're solving? And does this problem need to be solved? And are you targeting the right audience? The water bottle industry is worth billions of dollars in every country. The candle industry, the soap industry, these are things that have existed for decades. Water bottles, candles, soaps. But you can still make billions of dollars. People need to wash their hands. And this is not just because of the pandemic. Everybody has soaps in every bathroom and in the kitchen and so forth in the office. Candle, if you're going to a romantic restaurant with your beautiful boyfriend or girlfriend, as soon as the candle is there, it changes the experience. So what problem is it solving? It is solving the problem that people want to have a romantic experience. What is the problem that you're solving? And does it need to be solved? Are you targeting the right audience? A place that I always go whenever I want to solve problems my whole life. I've been an entrepreneur from the age of nine. Everything I've always done is aligned to the United Nations. They're my inspiration. So I look at all of these problems such as poverty, hunger, good health, good education. So every business that I own tackles multiple of these problems because these are problems that desperately need solution, which means they're humongous business opportunities. And these problems light up a fire in my heart that give me energy to jump out of bed every morning to do what I love and continue helping communities. So look at how your business and your idea and your talent can save one of these problems, help the United Nations. And most of these problems are needed 
the solutions needed in every single country around the world. Then design a one-page business plan. Don't spend weeks researching and building a strong business plan. Build it in one page and start and progress and adapt it and get better at it every day. What is the problem? What is the solution? What is unique about it that you have uniquely? What's your unfair advantage? What are the different customers you have? What are the different channels you're going to use to get these customers' attention? How are you going to measure your impact? How much does it cost? And how much money are you making? And I'll be talking to you guys about a couple of experience, a couple of examples. I can see that some of you guys are taking notes and taking photos. Um, just send us an email. We can send you a copy of these slides as well. And if you also Google Canva business plan, you'll be able to find it on Google. Next, have a name people can find you. Can you legally use this name because no one else is using it? Is it easy to say, easy to spell? So when I was choosing Academy of Entrepreneurs name, I wanted something that started with A for alphabetical reasons for us to be on top. And I wanted something that was just common sense. So as I'm walking and speaking to investors and speaking to people, it was obvious that we were an academy for entrepreneurs. When I started a PR firm here in Australia, it was called PR2 because of public relations and we were multiplying client success. We're starting some health businesses at the moment that I can't go into full details, but all of them are going to have the number eight for unlimited impact in the health sector to solve the problems that COVID brought into the world. So have names that are easy to spell. And every business that I set up, I always wanted to be around the world. So I say, hmm, how would this sound in different languages? Will people remember it? When someone types in this name, are they going to find it on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else? So if you need some inspiration on names, you can always type in a word and business name generator can generate some creative names. Be careful with the name sounding too different to what you are offering as a service because people will forget. I'll give you guys an example. I was in San Francisco just before the pandemic started. And I was in the third biggest pitching competition. And I was there as a judge. And I matched 20 people that were pitching. All of them had really cool logos, but really weird business names. And some of these businesses I would love to now invest in, but I can't remember the names. Because it wasn't obvious what they were doing. And I remember... As after they finished pitching, we were all now working, we were grabbing our drinks, we were in the rooftop, beautiful building in San Francisco. And as we were networking, everybody had the name tags with the weird name and it'd be like, what do you do? What do you do? And I remember I was the only one with a name tag that no one had to ask me, what do you do? Because Academy of Entrepreneurs was obvious. And people would go like, Academy of Entrepreneurs, oh my God, I need you to teach me this, this, and this. So we made money that night because our name was obvious. On the problem we were solving. Next, before you register your business name, make sure that the name is available online. So this is a free website that you type in your future name and it tells you if you can register the business name on the website, if you can register on Facebook, on Instagram. The only thing you can't check on this one is TikTok because this platform was done before. But most of the platforms you just go and in one click, it tells you if the name is available across all of the, the social media because you don't want to build a business, let's say Happy Soaps, and then every time someone types it on Instagram, they're tagging your competitor or they're buying from your competitor. You want to make sure that you own that name. Logos. This is, if you don't have a budget to spend on logo, my recommendation is go in Squarespace logo. So not on the website, but Squarespace logo, type it in, and you can type in your business name, and the icon, and then it will design a web uh, logo for two seconds. And it even shows how it looks on a business card, on a screensaver, and even on a t-shirt. So every time I'm building a business really quickly, I go in there just to get some samples and some icons. And then afterwards, once I've converted the first sales, I go over to a graphic designer and I work with the different graphic designers that we've got around the world. And again, there's different designers that will help you in different products because some graphic designers specialize in print, others in tech, others in food, others in hospitality. So it's good to work with the right people, but this is a free space for you to design your logo today. Next, 
Website, I love building websites on Wix. It's free. They've got beautiful templates, just really easy. Like I don't know how to code anything. And this is just using the front end that I can drag and drop and change the fonts and colors. So it's really easy. And when you build, you go get started and you can type in, you're starting, I don't know, a hair salon. You're starting a jewelry business and we'll give you different samples of templates that work really well for that industry. Images, you can't download an image from Google and use it for your business. You're stealing someone else's art. But if you go to Unsplash and Flat Icons, these are two different platforms that you can download images for free and use them for your business. Hello, Apple. How are you, my dear? Um, next step is go out and speak to potential customers and say, is there anyone willing to pay me for my service? So it's not about just you asking your grandmother and your boyfriend if they like the product. Of course they're going to say, because they love you. But you need to speak to future customers and say, what do you think? How much you would, would you pay? What flavor would you like in this muffin? What packaging would you like in these candles? Ask people. And the way that you can ask is by doing surveys. Google, you can use Google Form or Serving Monkey. You can ask them through interviews. You can create landing pages. You can create voting on polls on Instagram. And you can create surveys also on Facebook. But ask people. And guys, don't be scared of getting a no. You don't have to listen to all of the no's. But if most people are saying no, that means you need to change something. Ask people. Before I build every business, I interview a thousand people. And I do a competitor analysis of 200 businesses. I'm in the process of launching a fashion business. We have done a research of over 800 businesses because we want to understand everybody in the ecosystem and how can we become better and more sustainable and socially responsible than every fashion business in the world. The more you research, the more you're going to get close to making it amazing. But don't spend all of your time researching. Launch it, research, and adapt, and adapt, and adapt. At Academy of Entrepreneurs, we've existed for many years, and we conduct surveys every day, because every day we want to become better and better and better. But I don't spend the whole time just researching. I spend time actioning, making changes, speaking to people, building new projects, and then we're always researching to be able to get better every day. Step number six is set goals. Sunday night, I set my goals for the week. I have coaches that I set monthly goals, semester goal, year goal, and I've got the goal for the next 10, 30, 50 years for Academy of Entrepreneurs. Set your goals and make sure they're specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. An example, my goal in the next 24 hours is to find the new business name. My other goal is in the next seven days to build an Instagram page and get a thousand followers and three customers. Can you see it's specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based? What are your goals? What are you getting up in the morning for? And before you go to bed, what's on your to-do list that is got a time, is relevant, you can achieve it, you can measure, and it's specific. So you're not going to send a rocket out to space in the next week. But you can conduct research on the top 10 rocket businesses. Who are the investors in the space? And then you start little by little building a business. Number seven, network with everybody. And this is why we always say join Academy of Entrepreneurs. Even if you're in the Philippines and planning on coming to Australia next year, join now. We can connect you to 102 countries from day one that you're studying with us. And that means new ideas, investors, people that you can collaborate. One can design your logo and you help them with someone else and someone else designs your website. It's all about network and mentor. 78% of businesses only succeed because they have the right network. All of my success around the world for every business is because I know the right people and I'm always developing more connections and more connect. And I don't care if it's Monday, I don't care if it's Sunday night, Saturday morning, I'm all day looking and meeting new people because these people open doors. Money, how are you making money? Are you going to have on your website ads? affiliate programs, pay-per-click, subscription. You're going to pay commission or you're going to make money through commission. How are you making money? And I'm going to show you guys a few examples on how to make money. Your marketing, what is the right price? What's your promotion strategy? Your physical evidence, people, product, process, and place. What are the different ways 
that you're going to get people's attention and how are you tweaking it all the time? And lastly, how are you going to pitch your business? I'll give you guys an example. I'll show you guys this because this is a genius pitch. It's simple. It's less than two minutes and it just wows you. It makes you want to action because it's effective. It shows one image at a time. It's selling one product in a way that connects with your heart and you just automatically want to put your credit card on by. Have a look. So let's take a look at the thinness first. This is that Sony product. Again, one of the best in the field. 1.2 inches down to 0 0.8 inches. This is the MacBook Air. Point seven six inches down to an unprecedented 0 0.16 inches. Now I want to point something out here. The thickest part of the MacBook Air is still thinner than the thinnest part of the TZ series. Okay. We're talking thin here. So it's so thin, it even fits inside one of these envelopes that we've all seen floating around the office. And so let me go ahead and show it to you now. This is it. Let me take it out here. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. This video is 13 years old, 13, and is still an effective pitch, and is still an innovative product, and the way he talks still touches our heart. And this is what you need to do with your business. It's the famous elevator pitch. When you get in an elevator, when you're walking, you're getting on the bus stop, when you bump into someone at the supermarket, when someone calls you, how can you pitch and straight away get people's attention so that they're curious, they're excited, they want to know more, and they want to buy from you? So everything that I taught you guys, business idea, zero dollars. Business model, I've just taught you how to do it for zero dollars. Creating a name and your logo, zero dollars, the softwares that I gave you guys. Building the website on Wix, zero. Proof of concept, zero. The strategy, zero. Getting mentors is zero. Revenue model, zero. Marketing, zero. And pitching is zero. I've just saved you guys at least $100,000 today. So this presentation is recorded on Facebook. Send us an email. We can send you a copy of the slides. Start today. I wish I knew all of this. My first website that I built in Australia cost me $18,000. The first logo I did was $10,000. These days, we've got softwares that allow us to connect to the whole world for free online. This is priceless. It's the best time in history. 72% of purchasing decisions are influenced by Instagram. Start your Instagram page now. And if you have to change the logo and the business name, who cares? Just start today and never give up. Because at the same time, there's opportunities everywhere. There's challenges in every step along the way. But when you do what you love, you're making the world a better place. The sky's the limit of your success. So I'm going to share with you guys some ideas on how you can make money today. Build a course. Whatever you do that you love doing. Baking, cooking, sewing, playing an instrument, teaching people how to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Whatever it is, start an online course for as little as $10 a month. Or just the one off $10. Whatever it is that you do well, teach someone else how to do it and you can make money out of it. Drop shipping. Sell something you don't have that everybody else wants. It's an easy, quick way for you to make money. Offer your online services. If you're great at marketing, social media, a social media manager could easily make thousands of dollars a week by just helping people manage the social media. What is it that you do well that doesn't cost you a cent today? Start today. Make money with other people's skills. Go in a platform like Fiverr and you can get freelancers that can blog and you can sell blogs to other people. You don't need to know how to create a website. 
but you can hire website code coders and you can just look for clients in Australia, you can sell a website for $20,000 and you can get a coder in India to do it for probably 150. So you're selling someone else's skill and you're helping them pay the bills and you're helping yourself build a business. And turn your hobby into a business, whatever it is that you love doing, that's where you should start making money on in a way that you're solving. So how do you start? I'm going to share with you guys a simple example. Say you're really good at doing yoga. You've done a yoga training course online over the pandemic. You could, in Australia, sell it for $100 an hour. So if you go to a gym and you go face-to-face -face or you go on Zoom, people will pay you $100 an hour for you to teach yoga. And you might go, wow, I'm making $100. And I'm going, oh my God, you're only making $100. Because $100 is not enough an hour. So what you could do is... Go and Zoom and get 20 clients to pay you $20 an hour. You could be making $400 an hour now. So instead of you teaching for a gym, get your own customers through Instagram and Facebook. Now, record every session you do, upload it to a system and build on a subscription. And if you have 20 new customers every month paying you $20 a month, you will, in 12 months from now, be having an ongoing revenue of 60000 Now, that's not enough. You need to make more money than 60000 a year. You could also have a wellness festival. You could run webinars and workshops. You could sell your own yoga mats and water bottles, all with your brand. And once the pandemic is over, maybe every three months, you can have a retreat. And you could be making easily not even 10, you could be making $100,000 out of each one of these if you build the right marketing. And if you want to make even more money, teach other people so they can do your job and start little businesses for them and franchise and you can be making billions. So can you see the growth mindset? From home, you could be not making 100, but 400 if you can get 20 customers to pay you $20 each. You could build in a subscription. You could have extra revenue from resorts, merchandise, workshops, and festivals, and you could franchise. Guys, there's more opportunity than ever, but you need to do what you love because if you love teaching yoga, I want to do yoga with you. Now, if you're doing it for the money, I'm not going to do yoga with you. So you need to do what you love and solve a problem. Do people want to do yoga? Yes, because everybody's stressed. Everybody wants, it's either stretch or they need to stretch because they've been in front of the computer for too long. Kids do yoga. Parents do yoga. Teachers do yoga. Grandparents do yoga. Everybody does yoga. Why aren't you teaching yoga if you love yoga? Money is absolutely everywhere. And this is just the beginning of your journey, guys. What I taught you guys has saved a lot of time and money, but it's just beginning, beginning, beginning of a never ending, very fulfilling journey because you're making the world a better place and doing what you love. And this is why I created Academy of Entrepreneurs because I realized that the best people in the world, the best scientists, the best celebrity chefs, the best photographers, they had no idea how to succeed. So we build Academy of Entrepreneurs with thousands of entrepreneurs around the world. They give you the skills based on their experience. We give you guys your network so we can help your business grow. But we as Academy of Entrepreneurs, we've also got an investment fund and we invest into the best ideas. So we're the greatest and strongest global network of entrepreneurs. And it's not because of me and the team. It's because we know everybody to help you succeed. And by you succeeding, the investors will succeed. By you succeeding, we're cross-promoting everybody's products and services. And this is why we have 100% success rate. But you need to take action. If you just come to these webinars and learn, you're not going to succeed. But if you put an action and you design your logo today, create your Instagram, get your first customer in the next seven days, call us and we'll open more doors for you. We have 500 courses in multiple languages, but you need to take action. Everything I taught you guys today, for me, it's absolutely common sense and super easy. And it can be the same for you, but you need to start. So... We welcome you guys into our community around the whole world. Right now, I'm in Australia, but I technically live in the Philippines as soon as the borders are over. For those of you that are logging in from Latin America, I fly there every month. For those of you that are logging into the States, I probably go there every maybe five weeks as well. So let us know how we can help you. 
we currently have classes operating in 102 countries. So we can connect you to the city you're in, the country, the continent, or anywhere around the world. And remember, entrepreneurship has no borders. You can succeed by doing anything, anywhere. And entrepreneurship, what we teach, will help you succeed if you're building a business, if you're managing your family business, or if you're working for someone else. Our whole team at Academy Entrepreneurs are entrepreneurs, that they have their own projects and they build their own solutions and they've got unlimited power. I always tell them, don't ask me for permission, ask me for forgiveness, just go and do it. If you've got an idea, do it. If you've got a new project, do it. Lewis, my right hand here in Australia, had an idea, jumped on a plane to Colombia and set up our operations there. And I just went, do it. Here's the company credit card, go and make it successful. This is what we as businesses need. We need creators, innovators that are leading change. So whether you have a business or you wanna make change inside your family business or a company you wanna work in, you need to innovate every day. So we've got partners around the world to help you guys succeed. You guys will receive, probably received last night an announcement already. Dell is now one of our biggest partners. So you guys get 20% discount on all the computers. They're looking at upskilling you guys with the latest technology. The Australian government, we also do projects with them almost on a weekly basis. Wix gives you guys discounts. Mary gives you guys discounts. Zero as well. The United Nations, we've got the greatest network of leaders from entrepreneurs to large organizations. Google, now in November, we're going to be running events every week with them. So we can give you guys access to them as mentors, as investors, the services, the technology at a discounted. So joining a camp entrepreneurs is not just the course and the entrepreneurs. It's also all of these extra gifts that we give you guys. And we hope to see you guys in Sydney and in Australia because we've got one of the best and most innovative and one of the best economies and one of the best opportunities for you to start your business. And like I mentioned before, by joining us, you're studying and developing businesses in collaboration with at the moment 102 countries and hopefully we'll have many more. So what do we have to offer you guys? We've got online programs, we've got boot camps, study tours, four weeks ideas to business, teacher training, diplomas and advanced diplomas, which we can bring you guys on a student visa to Australia, corporate programs for companies and also accelerators where we invest. All of our programs are available online, face-to-face, -face, blended and downloadable in multiple languages. And I thought I'd share here with you guys, if you guys go to the homepage of our website, or also through our app and you type in Academy Entrepreneurs, we've got some short online courses that you can do yourself. And also for everybody that's looking at doing our diploma, this month is the final month that we have a 75% discount. This course is $16,000, but because of COVID, we want to help a lot of everybody to succeed. So we're giving a 75, but it expires this month. So it will go back to $16,000 a year. So please speak to your counselor at AUG over in the Philippines so you can get this discount. Do it as fast as you can because this will never, ever, ever happen again. And any questions, or if you're not sure what course to do, just book a coffee with us and then we're here to help you guys succeed. And success is everywhere, guys. It's not easy. I do crazy long hours, but when you love what you do, when you're making an impact, when you see the change, the smiles, people making money, succeeding, like supporting the family, supporting the communities, donating to charity from the success, it's just so worth it. So worth it. So follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You've got my name here, Paola Mills. Add me everywhere as well, and I'll help you guys succeed. And remember to boss your future. Success is in front of you, but you need to take action for it. So thanks for joining. Now I'm going to head over to Apple and Cheryl over at AUD who organized today's event for them to share a little bit about the beautiful work that they do. I've been working with AUD for over 10 years. They've supported our success around the world through Southeast Asia here in Australia as well. So over to you Apple and Cheryl and thanks for coordinating today's event. Hello everyone, good morning from the Philippines. Okay, I'm Apple from AUG Philippines. Uh, I would like to, uh, I cannot share a screen, however, ah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so I am going to share, oh, okay. So anyway, I am just going to type our website. You can actually visit our website if you want to apply to AUG. So all our counselors are here, are very friendly, 
and knowledgeable and we are going to help you and assist you in applying through AE, Academy of Entrepreneurs, okay? Thank you so much for today, Paula. This I'm going to put in the chat box. There you go. Okay, I hope to see you guys and book us. Do you want to share your screen for anything? Us for a, Do you want to share your screen? We can I'm give sorry? you. Do you want to share your screen? Yes. Oh, we'll sure. Give, that I'll would be you, nice. I'll make you an admin. Where are you? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Thank you, a co-host. Perfect. You should be able to share. I've made you a co-host as well, so you should be able to share your screen. Okay, give me it. Ah, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to share uh, my screen to everyone. Okay, can you can you see my screen? It is connecting. We still can't see. Yes. It. Okay, now we can see it. All right. So anyway, AUG is the people, great service and best outcome. Okay, we are established in 1995 and. We do have different partner universities in Australia, in Australia, UK, USA, Malaysia, Ireland, Singapore, Canada, and New Zealand. We also have been for offices in seven countries, including the Philippines. And also, we assist and provide you unbiased study education of your own choice. And of course, all our counselors are friendly and knowledgeable. Okay? So also, uh, Give me a second. Okay, so here are the benefits of applying to do AUG. The first one, we are very personalized. Okay, we have one-on-one -on -one counseling. If you guys want to have a one-on-one -on -one counseling, you can book us. Okay, you can book an appointment with us. We are very knowledgeable about the latest changes. Okay, in different countries. And also, we do share our personal experiences. And full support and service from your education counselor. And of course, they're very accessible in Australia. We do have different offices, AUG offices in Australia. Okay, in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Adelaide, and Brisbane. Okay, and of course, all our services are free of charge. Okay, so I hope to see you guys. And thank you so much for today, Paula. Uh, I hope... We, you can book an appointment with us too. Thank you, Paula. Hey guys, you can book an appointment with AUG and our team at Academy Spinners. So you can contact us and then we can, you can speak to all of us. And if you want to bring your parents in as well and so forth. And yes, you can start studying the diploma while you are in the Philippines, while you are in Melbourne, anywhere you are, you can start studying with us now. And then you can move to Sydney if you want to, but you don't have to. Hi, Trisha, good to see you. Hello, oh nice to meet you again. <laughs> Hello, my dear, I haven't seen you for ages. I think last time I saw you face to face was over two years ago. Good to see yes. you. Yes, about time you come back. I know, I know, I miss it. I'll be back soon, I promise. Oh, thanks, Trish. Guys, Trish is amazing as well, part of the AUG family, doing work. And the amazing thing with AUG is that not only the services are free, they're connected to everybody. And the government super trusts them. So once you apply for a visa, the government goes, Academy of Entrepreneurs, AUG, let's approve this visa because they're the best. So yeah, so AUG is one of the most trusted agencies by the Department of Immigration. So please use their superpowers. Oh, cool, guys. Any final words before we finish off this beautiful session together? Anything? No? Cool. Awesome, guys. Thanks for joining us. It is recorded. So if you want a copy of the recording, let us know. We're going to be doing a few more webinars. I think the next one is going to be on Instagram and branding and business for e-commerce. So we'll send you guys, everybody that joined today, we'll send you an email with the invite for the next one. And thanks for joining us. Nice seeing you guys again. Bye-bye. Thank you, Paula. Bye. 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 B